شكرا Good afternoon guys today I am bringing you a different video normally I do a full day of eating or take you through my training regime or my usual fitness kind of daily lifestyle but today I am going to do something different as you can see I'm in my loungewear it's like the comfiest thing I own beyond pajamas I'm makeup free I just am lounging around the house relaxing because okay let's just get rewind a couple of weeks ago I went for a routine cervical smear now that is something that I've actually put off for a while I'd gotten written reminders and it was only because they literally rang me up from my doctor's surgery and made the appointment for me and I didn't want to not go to an appointment so I went have my cervical smear and two weeks later I got a call from my GP just saying that there was some abnormal cells and they wanted to do what is known as a colposcopy so that is just to kind of look a little bit more in depth at the cells the abnormal cells and just see um, if they need to do anything anything like that so it wasn't anything too scary with the phone call obviously I got a phone call from the GP and I was left on the phone for about 10 minutes on hold which was probably the longest 10 minutes of my life because I knew I'd had this smear done and um, it was yeah a little bit scary but the doctor reassured me there was nothing wrong and that it was all okay and I just had to go for this colposcopy so, so yesterday I went for what was meant to be just my colposcopy but when I went in to meet with the doctor he actually said that the um, abnormal cells were actually high risk abnormal cells so they obviously grade them as to how abnormal they are so they had not informed me of this from the GP but I was in in the gynecological center in the hospital and the doctor then informed me that obviously these were high risk cells and that they would be doing um, a procedure to remove these cells in the next week but upon talking to me and about my history things like that the doctor decided to do it there and then so yesterday I had um, some minor surgery um, it was done under local anesthetic they removed the abnormal cells it's a way of like I suppose burning them away it wasn't the most pleasant experience they do numb the area and um, now I have like a lot of cramping not feeling the best um, and it did take me by surprise because I thought I was going in for number one I, I just kind of got in my head around the fact that I had to go and get this colposcopy because that was a bit scary but Number two, then I was getting this procedure done without any forenotice and it was, yeah, it just took me by surprise. So I was in a bit of a daze and I wasn't expecting that to be done. And now my whole week has been thrown because obviously I thought I'd be training and doing my normal stuff this week, but obviously that's not happening. And a little bit stressful, a little bit upsetting. And now the abnormal cells have been sent away for... Um, they took a biopsy so that's where they take um, a section of cells and make sure that uh, there's nothing else that need there's no further I suppose work needs to be done on the area or any other further investigation and now this is all to rule out cervical cancer and yes cancer is a big scary word that when the doctor said it to me it was one of the first things he said was that we are testing for cervical cancer here we are looking to make sure you do not have cervical cancer and you hear that word cancer and your heart literally jumps from your chest out of your mouth and splatters on the wall because I wasn't expecting to hear that I thought this was all routine routine I was hearing routine over and over again and then suddenly it went from being routine to being cancer and that is pretty scary when you're having a part of your body removed and biopsied and tested for something that I suppose that's what they're looking for that's why you get cervical smears done once you're over the age of 30 you are meant to be getting them done every three years I have put this on the long finger and made excuses even though I know I shouldn't I know better than that like I'm a smart person I know that I should be going and getting these screens done because it is a preventative thing it is to catch things early before they get to stage one, two, three, four, and then it's too late. So if you are of a certain age and you have got your letter for your smear, this is why I'm doing this video because I feel like I have a voice. 
I have a voice online and I should be using it. I have, even if a thousand women or a hundred women or 10 women watch this video and go and they book in for their cervical smear and they prevent something critical happening to themselves and something really scary and having that moment of your heart jumping out of your throat and having that upset and if you can go and just have your smear and have peace of mind that's what it's there for it is there for prevention so it, and it's not just cervical smears guys like i've had lumps in my breast before where i've had to go and get that examined and i've had to go and have um screens done and it it's for your own good because cancer is a real thing and people die from it and it leaves it ruins people's lives and it, it like it, that's what the word is it's a cancer it's a horrible thing and you do not want to be that person who has left it because it was inconvenient because you wanted to go to the cinema or you wanted to go to the gym like you're going to the gym to get fit and healthy you're eating healthy but then we do simple things like putting off a routine smear that could potentially save your life so i know i'm like jumping on some kind of a bandwagon here but i just want to use my social media voice for something positive because now i'm sitting here feeling upset feeling vulnerable having to wait for results of a test that most probably will be fine and i'm not here looking for sympathy or attention i like as i know you guys support me 100 percent but i'm here just to try and get anyone else who has put off that smear test and ignored that letter or ignored the phone call from the gp saying you are overdue your smear test go and get it done because you do not, my abnormal cells could have potentially, if I let it go for longer, these could have potentially turned into something more sinister. And because I today, now I'm sitting here making this video, I pray that anyone who is watching this, any women, any men as well, men, you are meant to be checking your testicles, you're meant to be going for that prostate exam. Yes, they're uncomfortable. Yes, they're undignified and you don't feel good getting these things done. But it's preventing something worse happening and it is there for our safety and our for, for our health and this is a health and fitness channel that's what i'm trying to promote it's not all about being skinny getting muscles these are all byproducts of diet and training but what about everything else we're meant to be eating healthy to nourish our bodies we're meant to be going and getting these screens done so i'm sitting here feeling vulnerable feeling very sensitive both emotionally and physically because i've got horrible cramps and i had something quite invasive and unpleasant on yesterday and now i just want to share this with you guys i know it's a super short video but i just wanted to update you because i feel like i should be doing something positive with my voice and that's what i'm doing today I will update you guys obviously on the results. I am being very positive that there is nothing sinister going on and it will all come back very positive and we'll be able to move on from this and just be more aware of my cervical health. I know this has been a bit more of a serious video and I hope you tune in for my next videos where we'll go back to regular programming of my recipes and all that jazz. But please, if you have any friends who you know who've been avoiding going and getting a smear test done or if you yourself, any of your family members are avoiding it, I'm sure a lot of you have know of someone who has had cancer in the past and this might be the kick up the bum you need to just go and get yourself checked and make sure everything is all okay. I'm wishing you all really good health and good luck. Love you guys.